Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise hockey manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. Alright so I well first of all welcome to 2010 2010 finally so uh, 10 years ago um, so we are getting closer to 2020 obviously um, and I finally decided to pull the trigger so I did promise that if it wasn't you know if I wasn't going to make the trade uh, from an offer that the computer would make me that I would pull the trigger at the start of January with Ryan Miller and I did just that now the thing that annoys me with it is that the best offer came from a direct rival uh, the Boston Bruins so well first of all I only had seven offers for Ryan Miller and there were two offers that I was kind of hesitating with uh, f uh, one was from the Flyers um, they offered me Jeff Carter for Ryan Miller uh, but then I saw the offer that Boston made me and I really couldn't refuse that um, so I traded a five-star goaltender to a division rival so that that's not something you would probably see in real life but you get to see what I got for for Ryan Miller you're probably gonna understand so the Bruins offered me Petrus Bergeron for Ryan Miller. Uh, Bergeron is a player that I love in real life. He's 24. He is a four and a half star talent right now, five star potential. Um, yeah, I just couldn't pass on him. Now the thing that that trade does to my lineup, though, is that I'm starting to be pretty strong at center. So, I'll see what uh, Lindy Ruff does with the lineup, uh, but I think that this trade might have made Joe Thornton expendable. Now, that's pretty sad when you have a guy that's over a point per game and you're considering him ex expendable. Uh, that's kind of sad, uh, but he's 30. He's a four-star talent. He's still really good, so he would have good value, and uh, maybe I could get help on D. My D's a little... Well, it's going to get strong later on, uh, but I, I have a few disappointments on the namely Scott Niedermeyer, uh, not doing all that great. That That's what I get for being sentimental about my, uh, my trades and my pickups. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to be debating maybe trading Joe Thornton, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play January and see how I feel after that, uh, but it's a possibility that I trade uh, Jumbo Joe. So that's we where we are at, so Petrus Bergeron is now an uh, Ottawa Senator. All right, and of course, you know, I could have traded Ber uh, not Bergeron Miller to the Flyers, and they would have had finally a goaltender. Uh, but I feel a lot better about Petrus Bergeron than I do Jeff Carter, so Bergeron it is. All right, so with that being said, um, we are going to go ahead and start. January of 2010, it looks like it's going to be a pretty busy month again. I have a pretty long road trip there uh, that starts on the 10th. So let's see. And we get to face Ryan Miller at least probably here the second game we're going to play in January. So. So let's get going. <clears throat> see if Petrus Bergeron becomes even better now that he's going to play for me. All right, Eugene Melnick is very happy with my work. We went 15 and 1 last month. All right, so Petrus Bergeron wants number 37 and he is absolutely going to get it. All righty. 
Alright, Jeff Platt in St. Louis is not suspended. So still in the lineup over there. Ooh, Yarmir Jagger is hurt for three weeks. Uh, strain abdominal muscle. Three weeks out for Yarmir Jagger. Of course, that's going to hurt Pittsburgh. Obviously one of their better players still, even though he's getting older. Alright, and now the Philadelphia Flyers are in town. Philadelphia without Ryan Miller, because I didn't pull the trigger that way. Uh, we are 1-1 one one against the Flyers this year. Uh, they are 29-11, and 11, so pretty good record for the Flyers. They are 4th in the East, still chasing uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins, they are one point back now, wow, so they've climbed back up and they have two games on hand, so if they beat us here, uh, they're gonna leapfrog the Pens, assuming Pittsburgh is not playing and winning as well. <clears throat> Alright, so the Flyers are gonna go with Jeremy Duchesne in net, and we are going with Brian Elliott, and go sends go as usual. And we won 41. Alright, so we outshot the Flyers 41 to 11. Jason Spitzer was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Mark Streit was the second star with a goal and an assist as well. And Joe Thornton, uh, who probably heard me talk about trading him, got third star with a goal and an assist as well. So 18,781 people in attendance for that game. And I forgot to check where... Uh, Lindy Ruff played Patrice Bergeron, so I'm gonna need to check before the next game. Uh, so we have Joe Thornton that opened up the scoring in the first on the power play from Mark Streit and Jason Spezza. Uh, then the Flyers tied the game in the second period, but then Marianosa scored from Andre Mizaros and Joe Thornton, and then Jason Spezza from Alex Pietrangelo, 3-1 after two. And then in the third period, Mark Streit scored his fifth from Petri Keeves. And that was it. So 4 to 1, the final score. And Petrus Bergeron played 17 minutes and 23 seconds, so that's a decent amount. I'm gonna have to check where where he's being played. I'm kind of kind of surprised I didn't check that actually. Slip my mind. Oh, Warren Peters with the Rangers is suspended. He's going to miss five games. All right, so Boston is in town uh, with their fresh new goaltender. Let's see if he can beat his former team. Uh, we are 3 0 against the Bruins this season. They are 19, 18, and 4. That's good for 9th in the East. Alright, so. Oh! Okay. Alright, so Petrus Bergeron is first line center, and they moved Jason Spezza to the wing. So Spezza played right wing for a while for us, and now he's been moved back to the to the wing with Bergeron at center and Brooks like playing first line left wing. All right, so let's see here if we can beat the Bruins. They're not even sending Ryan Miller in that they are sending Yevgeny Nabokov. So they're not giving Miller the chance to beat his former team. So Nabokov in net for the Bruins, and we are going to Brian Elliott, of course. And we lost 2-1. Oh, what a turn of events. We did lose to the Bruins, but it was not to the hands of Ryan Miller. So we did outshoot the Bruins 39 to 24. Uh, Eric Christensen was the first star of the game for Boston. He scored both goals. Alex Pietrangelo was the second star with an assist, and Yevgeny Nabokov was the third star with 38 saves. 17,534 people in attendance for this game. Uh, 
So Christensen scored both of his goals in the first period, and then Marianosa scored from Alex Pietrangelo and Anton Volchenkov, and that was it. 2-1. to one. Nobody fought. A few penalties here and there. That's about it. All right, Tomas Kopecki extends his goal streak to five games with a goal against the Ducks. <clears throat> and Martin Strecker extends his point streak to 12 games with a goal and an assist against the Flames. Ooh, Peter Forsberg now has 900 points in his career. He got an assist against the New York Islanders. So Peter Forsberg is still playing, 36 years old, but he is only a star and a half anymore. So he might not get to a thousand points. All right, and we are going to be playing against Washington. So the Capitals are 26, 13, and 3. That's good for fifth in the East. So in good position to make the playoffs. Uh, we are 1 0 against the Capitals this season. We won 1 0 at home earlier this season. Probably in that month where we won like five times 1 0 or something. All right. So in Washington. So we have Brian Elliott in net. They have Tuka Rask. And we lost 4 to 1. Wow, two losses in a row. I probably shouldn't have traded Ryan Miller. Maybe he was the, the glue of the team. Maybe he was a great teammate or something. Uh, we got outshot 34 to 26 in that one. Andrew Brunet was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Carl Alsner was the second star with two assists. And Boyd Gordon was the third star with a goal and an assist. All right, so. Uh, Washington scored in the first period, and it was 1 0 Washington after 1. Then they scored twice in the second to make it 3 0. Then we had Alexander Radulov score from Drew Doughty and Zeden Oshara. It was 3 1 at that point, but uh, they scored again in the third period, make it 4 1. And that was the end of that game. So, two losses in a row for the Suns. Uh, we only have eight of them total this season if you include the losses in overtime. Uh, Tim Brent in Anaheim is suspended. He's going to miss five games. Same for Troy Brower in Chicago, missing five games for suspension as well. Martin Strecker extends this point streak to 13 games with a goal against the Hurricanes. Simon Gagné has a strong game for the Flyers. He had three goals and an assist against Pittsburgh. Ooh, I think Philadelphia just leapfrogged Pittsburgh. They sure did. All right, so now Philadelphia is second. All right. Alright, so we are back at home before we go on the road for five games. Uh, we are going to be hosting the Florida Panthers, who are 28, 14, and 2. That's good for third in the East, so they're top of their division. And we are 1 0 against the Panthers this season. Uh, it was a 5 1 win in Florida, so the Panthers are now a respectable team. So Jacob Markstrom is going to be in net for Florida. We are going to Brian Elliott again, despite him losing his last two games. And we won that one, but in overtime, so we had to work for that one. 3-2 to two, the final score. <clears throat> Actually, it was in the shootout. Uh, we outshot the Panthers 36-24. to 24. Drew Doughty was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Ryan Kessler was the second star with an assist. And Petrus Bergeron finally scored his first as uh, Otto, Ottawa Senator. And was the third star with a goal. We had 16,586 people in attendance for this game. 
Florida open up the scoring uh, in the first period, but 22 seconds later, Brooks like scored from Alex Pietrangelo and Anton Volchenkov, and it was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, we had Petrus Bergeron score from Drew Doughty and Zdeno Oshar. It was two to one after two. Uh, then, really early in the third period, uh, Matt Molson scored for Florida and tied the game at two. So, we went in overtime. There was a fight in the third period. Zeden Oshar and Gregory Campbell fought. And then, Detsyuk scored uh, in the shootout. Michael Frolik missed, Marianosa scored, Christian Uzelia scored, Jason Spezza missed, and Ryan Kessler missed. So we scored two, they scored only one. 3 2, the final score for us. Alright, now we're moving on on the road. Let's see, suspension over for uh, Brian Boyle with the LA Kings back in the lineup. And Martin Strecker extends his point straight to 14 games with two assists against the Ducks. So he's on a roll over there. Sidney Crosby already has 600 points in his career. He's 22 years old. Wow. Uh, he got two goals against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So 22 years old, Sidney Crosby, five-star player, already 600 points in the NHL. We're going to need to stop him. All right, and we are now going to be playing in Carolina against the Hurricanes. It's kind of tough for the Canes. They are 15, 26, and 2. That's good for 12th in the East. Uh, we are 1-0 and against the Hurricanes this season. And we are going to send Antti Niemi in net, so he's going to get his first start as an Ottawa Senator. Cam Ward is going to be in net for the Hurricanes. And we won 2 nothing. so first start of the season for Niemi, and it's a shutout, so good job. We outshot the Hurricanes 53-19. to uh, Cam Ward, despite the loss, was the first star. He made 51 saves. Uh, Derek Meech was the second star without any points. And Joe Thornton was the third star with an assist. So Martin Havlat opened up the scoring in the first period. It was a power play goal assisted by Jason Spezza. It was five seconds into that power play, too. And then in the third period, Zdeno Oshar scored from Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsyuk. And that was it. 2 nothing. Not much to say about that game. Martin Strecka extends this point streak to 15 games with an assist against Vancouver. He's doing really good. Older age uh, is doing him good. All right, and now we are going to be playing against the Atlanta Trashers. Um, so they are 21, 20, and 3. That's good for ninth in the East, so they're fighting with a few other teams there for that last spot in the playoffs. Uh, we are 2-0 against Atlanta this season. Let's see if we can beat them again. Oh, so Ansi Niemi is being rewarded after getting that shutout, and he's going to get a second start in a row. Kerry Lettonen is going to be in net for the Trashers. And we won 9-1, to one. so that one's going to take a while to get through. So we outshot the Trashers 59-22. to 22. Petrus Bergeron was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Zdeno Oshara was the second star with two goals. And Marian Osa was the third star with two assists. 
Uh, Alright, so Zdeno Shar opened up the scoring in the first from Marianosa and Brooks like, and then he scored again. It was his tenth on the power play from Jason Spezza and Alexander Radulov. Then Andre Mazzaro scored his fifth on the power play from Eric Condra and Patrice Bergeron, and it was 3 0 Suns after one. Already looked pretty good. Then in the second period, Mike Fisher scored from Andre Mizaros and Pavel Datiuk. Then Alex Pietrangelo scored short-handed from Marinos and Petris Bergeron. It was 5-0. Atlanta scored a goal, made it 5-1, but then we scored again. Jason Spezza scored from Mark Streit, and it was 6-1 after two. Then in the third period, Petrus Bergeron scored from Chris Kelly and Jason Spezza. Then Chris Kelly scored on a power play from Mark Streit. And finally, Brooks Like from Alex Pietrangelo and Joe Thornton. 9 1, the final score in that trouncing of the Trashers. Oh, Martin Strecker's point streak ended at 15 games. He was held scoreless against the Oilers. Alright, and we continue our uh, road trip there by going to uh, the Big Apple, New York Rangers. A memorable night for Ryan Kessler in Florida. He had three goals and two assists against the Capitals. And in that same game, Matt Molson had a hat trick as well. Oh, looks like Martin Ansel is hurt, but he's day to day, so he can stay on the lineup. Alright, so we are visiting the New York Rangers. They are not doing all that great. They are 17, 26, and 3. That's good for 11th in the East. We are 2 0 against the Rangers this season. Alright, so Brian Elliott get his net back and. And Rick Lundquist is going to be a net for the Rangers. And we won 8-2. to two. Wow. We decided to start opening up the offensive machine. A couple months ago, uh, I, w I would score only a goal a game and stuff. Now I'm winning decisively. Look at that. All right, so we outshot the Rangers 61 to 15. Pavel Datsyuk was the first star of the game. He had two goals and two assists. Joe Thornton was the second star with two goals and two assists as well. And finally, Patrick Eves was the third star. He had also two goals and two assists. Uh, so we scored three times in the first period. Alex Pietrangelo scored first from Marianos and Joe Thornton. Then Patrick Eves scored his 10th from Pavel Datsyuk and Anton Volchenkov. Zdeno Shara scored on the power play from Petris Bergeron and Brooks Like, and it was 3 0 Sens after one. Then Datsyuk scored in the second period from Ryan Callan and Andre Mazaros. It was 4 0. And then the Rangers scored a goal. Um, so it, they made it 4-1, but Joe Thornton scored his 15th from Patrick Eves. It was 5-1. Sands after two. And then in the third period, uh, Joe Thornton scored from Patrick Eves and Brooks like. And then the Rangers score made it 6-2. And then Patrick Eves scored from Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsyuk. And Datsyuk from Mike Fisher and Ryan Callahan. 8-2, the final score. <clears throat> Another trouncing. Uh oh, bad news for Ottawa. Spezza is injured with a broken hand. He's gonna miss three months. Ooh. Well, that sucks. Suspension over for Warren Peters. Alright, well. Spezza was having another great season, but he broke his arm. So, we have to recall somebody. Alright.
I'm sorry if I'm being very quiet. I'm just looking at all of the different stats for everybody. I think I'm gonna go with Matt Stajan. Definitely not the same type of player, that's for sure. Alright, so we lost a big part of our lineup for basically the rest of the regular season. The Devils coaching job is in jeopardy. Mike Sullivan might lose his job in New Jersey. They are terrible. They are 14, 27, and 4. And Matt Stajan wants number 18. You can have it, buddy. Alright, and we continue our. Uh, our road trip by going in Montreal to play against the Habs. Alex Ovechkin lights the lamp. He had three goals and an assist against Toronto. Good game for Ryan Whitney in that same game. He had a goal and four assists. Good game. Martin Anzal's feeling a little bit better. Might play soon. Alright, so we are in Montreal. The Habs are 27, 16, and 5. That's good for 6th in the East. Uh, we are 2 0 and 1 against Montreal this season. And we're going to have Brian Elliott in net, and they're going to Yaroslav Halak. So, not playing Carey Price here. I know a lot of Montreal fans that are going to start a debate again. It's. Uh, it's been 10 years in real life, and it's still a hot debate from, from time to time. Halak over Price. And we lost 3 2 in overtime again, so Montreal beat us twice in overtime, the two times that they've beat us. Uh, they also outshot us 41 20 in that game. Yikes. Jason, losing Jason Spitz really hurt us. Uh, Matthew Schneider was the first star of the game, he had a goal. Brian Elliott was the second star with 39 saves, and Brooks Like was the third star with a goal and an assist. So Osa scored the first goal of the game on the power play from Drew Doughty and Brooks Like, but then Montreal tied the game before the end of the period, and it was tied at 1 after 1. Then Montreal scored in the second period, took a 2 to 1 lead that we tied up late in the third from Brooks like scoring his 15th from Joe Thornton tied at two we went in overtime couldn't score that went into the shootout Montreal scored twice Justin Williams and Max Paxiorities both scored we didn't so we lost three to two All right, so Peter Forsberg has achieved 300 goals in his career, so now he scored a goal against New Jersey, still 36 years old, still a star now of Peter Forsberg, weirdly wearing number 10. A strong game for Matt Taormina uh, in that same game for New Jersey, he had a hat-trick, three goals against Colorado. Uh, Kirill Kostov is not suspended in Boston, still in the lineup. Vili Peltonen set everything up tonight for the Islanders, he had 4 assists against Buffalo. No suspension for Joe Pavelski with the Sharks, remains in the lineup. Alright, Anzal almost 100%. All right, and then we finish this road trip with a game in Boston. Are we now going to face Ryan Miller? Suspension over for Tim Brandt. Back in the lineup in Anaheim. Same for Troy Brower in Chicago. Alrighty, so... 
We are now playing in Boston, so they are now 22, 21, and 4. That's good for 8 in the East. We are now 3 and 1 against the Bruins. Of course, we lost that game that Ryan Miller did not play. Alright, those lines make sense. So that's not why I got shelled in shots against Montreal. They're going to Yevgeny Nabokov again, so what's wrong with Ryan Meller that nobody wants to play him? I mean, Meller is better than Nabokov. I guess Nabokov's on fire, maybe. Maybe that's why. So we have Brian Elliott in net, and obviously Boston has Yevgeny Nabokov. And we lost in overtime again for the three, so we've been losing some games this month. Not good. We did outshoot Boston 46 to 32. Milan Lucic was the first star with a game, he had two assists. Petrus Bergeron was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Phil Kessel was the third star with a goal and an assist. So Boston took a 3 0 lead into the first period. Yikes. And then we scored twice in the second period. Mike Fisher scored from Anton Volchenkov and Brooks like. Then Drew Doughty from Petrus Bergeron and Mariano. So it was 3 to 2 Boston after 2. Then Petrus Bergeron tied the game against his former team from Chris Kelly. It, it was tied at 3 after 3. But then with one second left to go in overtime, Daniel Zubros played the hero and gave his team the victory. Uh, Patrick Eliash is suspended. Oh, former Ottawa Senator Patrick Eliash with the Wild. Suspended for five games. Martin Anzal is ready to play now. All right, so we are going to be hosting a very good team, the Chicago Blackhawks. They are 36, 10, and three. So really good record there for the Blackhawks. Uh, we have not played them this season. So of course they have Taves and Kane and Seabrook and Duncan Keat and probably Corey Crawford. Yeah, they have a pretty good team. Look at that. And they didn't have to do much to put that together because those are all players that they drafted in real life. So the team came, gelled and came together almost on its own. So Corey Crawford and Scott Clemenson in that, so that's pretty solid. Uh, Duncan Key, Nicholas Jalmarsson, uh, James Wisniewski, Lettonen, Seabrook, Numelin, Avlid, and Pitkinen on D. That D's pretty good. Uh, Brian Bickle, Tumo Rutu, Rafi Tarazi Tamaro, Joe Vitali. Uh, Taylor Pyatt, probably. Yeah, Taylor Pyatt. Dave Bolin, Miku Koivu, Jonathan Taves, Troy Brower, Patrick Kane, Dan Cleary, and Chad LaRose. So, decent team for sure. They also have the good record to back it up. They actually might beat us. Corey Crawford is going to be in net for Chicago. We are going to Ansi Niemi, who won both of his starts so far this season. And we won in overtime, 2-1, to one, so another tough game. Uh, we outshot Chicago 44-17. to 17. Corey Crawford was the first star of the game with 43 saves. Jonathan Taves was the second star with a goal, and Pavel Datsyuk was the third star with a goal as well. The game was back in Ottawa. We had 15,994 people in attendance for this game. Uh, ooh. So there were two goals scored in the first period, uh, both in the last minute of the period. So Chicago scored first, and then Pavel Datsyuk tied the game with 11 seconds left to go in the first period from Joe Thornton. It was tied at one after one. Then really not a whole lot going on all the way until the shootout where we had Datsyuk and Thornton score. Chicago didn't have anybody scoring, so we won that one 2-1 to one in the shootout. So Antti Niemi so far doing pretty good as the backup. Uh, 
All right, Ryan Smith is back from suspension in Edmonton. Oh, yeah, that's three. He was suspended for like 10 games or something really long like that. And Aaron Spilo uh, got hurt, and he's going to take six months to recover from a torn ulnar collateral ligament. So a torn UCL. So it sucks for him and the Devils. We have our own problems. Jason Spezza got hurt. All right, and we are about now to play the St. Louis Blues, who yesterday in real life got eliminated from the playoffs against the Vancouver Canucks in what was maybe a little bit of a surprise. All right, so St. Louis is also doing pretty good. They are 30, 18, and 1. We have not played St. Louis this season, so let's take a look at that lineup. All right, so Ben Bishop and Jan Dennis uh, in net, so that's pretty decent. Uh, Andy Green, Andrew McDonald, Kyle Quincy, Andrew Hutchinson, Eric Johnson, Roman Polak, who's hurt, and Andy Roach, I believe. <coughs> So that D is uh, not too bad. A um, few holes, yeah, probably on the third pair, but the first two pairs are okay. Uh, Jeff Platt, Sean Avery, Brendan Shannon still playing at 40. Uh, Tsikhanov, Zinoviev, Riku All, Patrick Berglund, Michael Anzus, Jay McClement, David Backus, Laperriere, Schultz, Arkipov, and Lee Stempniak. So. It's a decent team, but it's not as good as Chicago, but they have a pretty good record, so... So Ben Bishop is going to be in net for St. Louis. We're going to Brian Elliott. And we won 4-1. We outshot the Blues 41-31. Chris Kelly was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Mark Streit was the second star with a goal and an assist as well. And Alexander Redulov was the third star with two assists. 17,667 people in attendance for this game. Uh, nobody scored in the first. Then in the second, Mike Fisher scored from Pavel Datsyuk and Zdeno Shara. And then Drew Doughty from Brooks Lake and Patrice Bergeron. And it was 2 nothing Sens after 2. Zdeno Shara fought Kyle Quincy. Uh, yeah, good luck, Kyle. Uh, your, pro your face is probably hurting. Right, and then in the third period, uh, Mark Streit scored on the power play from Chris Kelly and Alexander Radulov. Then uh, St. Louis scored, made it 3-1, but Chris Kelly scored on the power play from Alexander Radulov and Mark Streit with 53 seconds left to go in the third. And 4-1 is the final score in that one. Right, and we are about to go and play the Boston Bruins again for the third time this month. <coughs> no. No additional missed time for Montreal's Andre Markov, not suspended. And in that same game, Thomas Plekanec lights the lamp against the New Jersey Devils. He had three goals and two assists. Wow. Alright, so we are now in Boston. So that's the third time we're playing Boston this month. They are 24-21-4, so they have improved their record a little bit. They are... 8 in the East with that record. We are now 3-1-1 one one against the Bruins this season. We lost the last two, so let's see if we can beat them. And it's still Nabokov in net. Wow. I don't think that Ryan Miller is labeled as a starter anymore, despite being a 5-star player. So Brian Elliott is in net for us, and Yevgeny Nabokov is in net for the Bruins. Ah, we won that one 6-2. There you go. Vengeance is sweet. Uh, we outshot Boston 52-31. Alexander Radulov was the first of the game. He had a hat-trick. 
Brooks Lake was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Anton Volchenkov was the third star with an assist. Alright, so nobody scored in the first, and then we scored four in the second. Patrick Eve scored from Anton Volchenkov and Brooks Lake. Alexander Radulov scored his first of the game on the power play from Petris Bergeron and Chris Kelly. Then Brooks Lake scored from Alex Pietrangelo and Chris Kelly. And then Radulov scored his second of the game, his tenth on the power play from Petris Bergeron and Joe Thornton. Four nothing Suns after two. And then Red Love completed his at trick at the start of the third from Martin Ansel and Eric Kondra. Then Boston scored twice, made it 5-2, but Ryan Callahan sealed the deal from Pavel Datsuk and 6-2 is how this game ended today. Nice win over Boston. Yep, and we know that Red Love had a hat trick. We were there. Right, and we have three games left here in January. Uh, we have a few days off here before we host the Devils. <clears throat> Good night for Pittery Numelin with the Blackhawks, who had a hat trick against Vancouver. Frederick Modine played in a thousand games in his career. That happened against Carolina. Didn't get a point to, uh, to celebrate that. So Frederick Modine playing for Boston in my universe. 35 years old, one star and a half player. All right, so the Devils are in town. Uh, Devils are struggling, as we saw earlier, with Mike Sullivan possibly losing his job. They are 17, 29, and 4. That's good for 12th in the East. So struggling over there. Uh, we are 3-0 and against the Devils this season, so they're also struggling against us. <clears throat> Alright, so Martin Brodeur is going to be in net for the Devils. We are going to Brian Elliott. And we won 8 to 2. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is uh, about to give up. So we. Outshot the Devils 47 to 16. Joe Thornton was the first star of the game. He had four goals and an assist. Chris Kelly was the second star with two goals and two assists. And Drew Doughty was the third star with three assists. 17,950 people in attendance for this game in Ottawa. Devils actually scored first in that one, uh, but then Chris Kelly scored his 15th from Patrick Eves and Mark Streit, and then Joe Thornton from Drew Doughty and Mike Fisher. Uh, but then the Devils tied the game before the end of the period, so it was tied at 2 after 1. After that, it was all us, though. So we scored only once in the second period. Joe Thornton scored on the power play from Alexander Redlove and Chris Kelly. And then we scored five in the third period. Joe Thornton scored from Eric Kondra. Then Mike Fisher scored his 10th from Alex Pietrangelo and Ryan Callan. Pavel Datsuk scored his 20th from Drew Doughty and Ryan Callan. Chris Kelly scored on the power play from Mark Streit and Joe Thornton. And finally, Joe Thornton scored his fourth goal of the game. His 20th of the season from Drew Doughty and Chris Kelly. And 8-2 is the final score. There was no stopping Joe Thornton, tell me about it. Now, Red Love got hurt in that game. Uh, bruised and cold day to day, he stays in the lineup. Rob Blake is not suspended in LA. So, no suspension. So, Rob Blake is still around, 40 years old. <clears throat> And Dan Bilesma might lose his job as the coach of the Kings. Kings are 22, 20, and 10, so apparently it's not cutting it for over there. Dan Bilesma might not be the coach no more. 
Right, two games left in January. Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Rastislav Stana, something like that. Rastislav Stana. Huh. I was close, but <clears throat> I didn't get it. Um, now let's see. Thomas Olmström has to lead a thousand games played in his career. Celebrated with a goal and an assist against the St. Louis Blues. Uh, 37 years old, two-star player, Thomas Armstrong, who played briefly for us many, many, many videos ago. Uh, Chris Bork has a great game. He had a hat-trick against the Ducks. All right, and we are in Pittsburgh to play against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, they are 37-14-3. and three. They have reclaimed second uh, in the East three points ahead of the Flyers. Flyers have three games on on toe. All right, we are two and one against Pittsburgh this season. And we are going to Brian Elliott. They are going with Josh Harding. We won four to three. Uh, we were outshot 37 to 30 in that one. Petrus Bergeron was the first star of the game. He had three assists. David, David DeArne. Uh, for Pittsburgh was the second star with a goal and two assists, and Brooks Like was the third star with two goals. Uh, Brooks Like opened up the scoring in the first from Anton Volchenkov. It was one nothing Suns after one. Then Pittsburgh scored three times in the second and were leading three to one after two. But then we scored three of our own here in the third period. Marianosa scored his 15th from Mark Streit and Petrus Bergeron. Then Marianosa scored on the power play from Joe Thornton and Petrus Bergeron. And finally, Brooks, like with 30 seconds left to go in the third period, scored the game winner from Petrus Bergeron and Drew Doughty. 4-3 is the final score. <clears throat> Seku Kaivu has competed in a thousand games in his career. So, didn't get a point. That happened again against the Calgary Flames. Uh, 35 years old, Seku Kaivu. He's only a star and a half anymore. So, not a huge contributor anymore. Yeah, 12 points in 38 games. A little bit tougher for Kaivu at this point. <clears throat> Right, and the last game of the month is going to be at home against the Habs. Uh, Ruslan Soleil is suspended in Dallas. He's going to miss five games. Yarko Rutu in Tampa Bay is not suspended. No one could stop Ryan Getzlaff in Anaheim. He had a hat trick against Tampa Bay. Alright, let's play that game against Montreal. So we are 2-0-2 against Montreal. So we won two games in, I believe they were both in regulation, but we lost both of our games in the shootout or overtime against them. Alright, and they're sending Yaroslav Alex. So not going with Carey Price. We are going with Brian Elliott. And we won 4-3 in regulation. Even though we were outshot 34-19. What is it against Montreal that, that outshoots us pretty bad every time? I don't know. But we won, that's what matters. So Chris Kelly was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Louis Erickson was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Zdeno Shara was the third star with a goal and an assist as well. 20,510 people in attendance for this game. Zdeno Shara scored the first goal of the game. That was a power play tally from Chris Kelly and Marianosa. Then Pavel Datsyuk from Scott Niedermeyer and Marianosa. It was 2 nothing Suns after 1. Then in the second period, Chris Kelly scored on the power play from Zeden Oshara and Joe Thornton. Then Montreal scored, made it 3-1. to It was 3-1 to cents after two. And then in the third period, Montreal actually tied the game. Uh, but about midway in the period, Joe Thornton scored the game winner on the power play from Chris Kelly. And 4-3 is the final score. 
All right, Brian Wilsey is suspended in LA. Um, he's going to miss 11 games. That's a lot of games. Dynamic passing leads to Productive Night for Matt Cook with the Flyers. He had four assists against the Islanders. Patrick Eliash is back in the lineup in Minnesota. All right, and we have one more day to sim air to make it to February 1st. All right, so there's more rumors about Mike Sullivan's future in New Jersey. The Devils are still not doing very good, as we saw very recently. All right. All right, Alexander Radulov might be back here soon. All right, and Nicholas Backstrom and Yaroslav Halak are the players of the month in January. So maybe that's why the, the abs are playing Halak so much. He was doing really good. All right, so that's pretty much where we sit now. On February 1st of 2010, we are atop of the standings in the east. Uh, oh, Philly uh, leapfrog Pittsburgh again, uh, but we are 18 points ahead of them. Flyers have three games on on, on us. Matt Climey is available on waivers. I'm not gonna pick him up. Now let's take a look in the West. Like Chicago and St. Louis, we're doing pretty good. Oh, St. Louis even with that really good record, that's only good for seventh. Wow, same in the East for Toronto. Like, they have, like, a pretty good record, and they're, you know, seventh. Wow, okay. All right, so in the West, we have Chicago and I'm, Calgary, Columbus, Detroit, Nashville, St. Louis, and San Jose. Ah, so Colorado is just nose-diving in the standings. Like, I... I'd made a mention at the start of the season that they seem to have turned it around after finishing dead last in the league, but yeah, they're they're pericliding, they're going down. The worst team in the league is the Vancouver Canucks. Then the second worst is the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Sabres were one of the teams that made me an offer for Ryan Metter, actually. They wanted him back, but they were only offering me Thomas Vanek for him, so I didn't pull the trigger on that. Petrus Bergeron is a lot better. All right, let's take a look at our stats. Of course, we're not going to be seeing Jason Spezza in there because he's hurt. I believe he had 48 points in 30... Uh, I don't remember. But I do believe he had 48 points at the time of his injury. So the best scorer for the team now is Joe Thornton with 67 points in 56 games. Datsyuk has 50 and 52, Chris Kelly 44 and 55, Osa 34 and 54. Uh, so Petrus Bergeron has 30 points in 35 games. He was hurt uh, at one point when he was playing for Boston. So he's almost a point per game. That's pretty good. And our best defenseman scoring-wise is Zdeno Sharo with 28 points in 49 games. So yeah. There you have it. Now let's take a look in the league. Where I'm sure we're going to see Crosby in there with his 600 points at 22 years old. So best goal scorer is Sidney Crosby with 34 goals. And then best pa best passer is Sidney Crosby with 54 assists. Now Spezza is second even though he's been shelled for a while with 50. Oh, I think he had 68 points. Is that what it what it was? Yeah, 68 points in 48 games. That's where the 48 came from. All right, and uh Crosby is first four points, obviously, uh, with 88. That's 20 more than Spezza, but Spezza played 48 games. Crosby played 56. Well, he only played eight more games, and he has 20 more points than Spezza. Yeah, Crosby is a machine. 
All right, so that's pretty much where we're at. We're we're still doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with my uh, Ryan Miller trade, to be honest. Um, I did not expect to get a five-star player in return, a 24-year-old star, uh, five-star player on top of that. So uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good trade. Uh, I wish I could say that it's helping Boston, but it doesn't look like they're playing Ryan Miller. He's, oh yeah, he's there, okay. I thought he wasn't even on the lineup. He is. Well, he did play six games since I traded him. So I guess uh, he just didn't play against us, but he's not been doing very good. Look at those stats. Yikes. Oh well, he's not my problem anymore. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. And I, as usual, I do want to thank you for tuning in. Without you guys, there's no series because it's pointless to do it if absolutely nobody watches. And if you've liked the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.